This video is presented by EA Game Changers. Massive thanks to EA for flying me out to Berlin to attend the FIFA 19 Global Capture event. Enjoy the video, guys. So today I wanted to show you some things based around FIFA 19 Ultimate Team packs. So uh, I wanted to show you one, the new animation, uh, and as you can see, it looks like this. Uh, pretty cool with Tony Kroos knee sliding his way into into the arena, uh, and and this is basically what a really good pack looks like on on FIFA 19. Uh, there was previously like the words FIFA FIFA Ultimate Team in the background, and it looked really bad in my opinion. Uh, and they've listened to feedback and removed that, which is great and I think the pack opening animation now whilst it still looks pretty busy there's a lot of fireworks and a lot of streamers and stuff going off like it, it looks kind of crazy uh, but I, I do think it actually looks pretty awesome um, uh, and, and will look good and it'll feel good when you pack something crazy uh, when, when you get to actually play the game but what I mainly wanted to show you in today's video was the new like walkout animation so when you, when you get someone that actually does walk out of the pack uh, there's some crazy like dances and just new animations that everyone finds interesting on this game. Uh, so throughout this video, you're going to see ones like this with PK right here. He's just pointing to the card and stuff. Uh, it's it's something which he we've had on on FIFA 18, right? So uh, yeah, so it, it's nothing new, but there are a whole bunch of new ones that you'll see as this video comes around. Uh, and of course, uh, for the packs that I show you, you get to see like player ratings and and and, and you know how players are actually going to look like in FIFA 19. So. Um, Get excited about that. If you could do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. I would be greatly appreciative of that. Share this video around so all your mates know what the new walkout animations are like. Uh, and let me know in the comments section which one you think is the best. Is this one that we had previously? The Kante, like, he's just like bashing his chest right there. I think we might have had that one. It seemed pretty familiar uh, to, to what we had on FIFA 18. But we will get to some new ones here. Who do we get in this pack? This is Sergio Busquets, I think. I've got a feeling, if I remember correctly when editing this, he comes out and just does the dab. So um, Pogba always comes out dabbing because obviously he, he was sort of known for that. I know it's like a few years old now, the old dab. But uh, yeah, for some reason, Busquets did that one. What are we getting in this pack then? German goalkeeper from Barcelona. This is Tostegen. I've got a feeling this is a new animation. What does he do? Is this a new one? No, no. This is one that we've previously seen as well. It seems that in my first pack opening session at the capture event, I didn't get any new animations. But trust me, they're coming throughout this video. Uh, and if you guys would like me to tell you what the differences are between if you're getting a good pack or a bad pack or an icon or something, there are ways to tell. I can make a separate video on that, actually. This is a new walkout animation here from Thomas Muller doing some crazy things with his arms right now. Um, that's quite cool. I actually like that one quite a lot. Uh, it looks pretty good. Uh, what else have we got coming up here? Next pack, who do, who do we get? Can we guess it? Belgium, left wing. Well, that's obviously going to be the main man, Eden Hazard. You're going to be buzzing if you get a pack like that. Uh, and he's walking out with... Oh, what's he doing? He's dancing. He is going to be hitting that break dance, guys. That, that is, of course, a new animation for FIFA 19. Looks pretty awesome as well. Uh, I found that the players that came out break dancing were, like, super high rated. So I wonder if there's, like, a conspiracy theory as to whether like the really cool new animations are like for super high rated pools only like let's say over 90 rated or something now in this pack we actually get an icon and this was the first icon i packed at the event and how disappointed was i <laughs> when it came out to actually be the 85 rated yens layman now yeah, uh, so I just wasn't super buzzing about that because it was Jens Lehmann. Like, it's it's a returning icon. It's not superb. Uh, it wasn't like a Rivaldo or something like that. We get Hazard again right here, and he comes out and just... This time, instead of doing the breakdance, he runs, jumps, and shows you what number he wears and stuff. So I believe that one's actually just a returning one from a previous FIFA as well. It seemed that there were like 10-plus new walkout animations, and we are getting to them, guys. Uh, what are we getting this time from... Uh, we get the fist pump there from, from MTT. He looks like a monster, by the way. 88 defending and 82 physical. His pace is actually pretty usable as well. I'm glad he's got a nice upgrade on that item itself. Uh, then we pack Godin here. So a 90 rated overall, I believe it is. What sort of thing is he going to do? He's going to come out doing the, the slide across the ground. Now, again, once again, we've seen that on previous FIFAs, but it does return once again uh, on FUT 19. Next packet, we move on uh, and we get gold. Spaniard, 
Cam. This is going to be David Silva. David Silva going to walk out and do a new animation for me. Yes, he is. He's going fishing. He's fishing for that, that 89 rated David Silva item. <laughs> that is him. Uh, I think that one's pretty cool. The, the Like, literally, go fishing. Invisible rod in his hand. I think that looks, looks decent uh, on, on this game. Can we get another new animation in a row? Yeah, I think we probably will with this one. This is Gigi Buffon, and of course now playing for PSG. And he walks out from the left-hand side, pulling the invisible rope, uh, and then does a little bit of uh, miming action as well there, as you can see. like It just it looks pretty stupid, but um, I'm not going to lie. The more stupid they are, the more I actually like them. I think they're pretty cool. It may give you a little bit of a giggle as, as you get a good pack in-game. Next up, we get another super high-rated pull here. 90-rated Lewandowski, who, of course, has now got the four-star skills and weak foot once again. Uh, he's got that little plus one on skill moves. Obviously, the pace is not looking amazing, but... I think he could be usable with the skills that he's got. Uh, now, this was a, a pretty decent pull, but it's, of course, a bit of a Neymar troll. Getting the 88-rated Coutinho, um, doing the like the robot. I mean, that's nothing new. We've seen that before. Uh, but he's now got five-star skill moves. If you didn't know about Coutinho, I think he's going to be usable again this year. Uh, I just wish he was a central item, to be honest, because, well, I feel like he should be. Now, we should get a new animation here with 91-rated Luka Modric, who walks on in and straight away just goes ahead and does the worm casually. Have you ever seen Luka Modric do the worm? You have now. Uh, so that was obviously a great pull, but what's better than getting a 91 rated Luka Modric doing the worm? Well, it would be to pack the new centre forward, 94 rated Lionel Messi, and for him to walk out and do the exact same thing. Um, yeah, Messi this year, not out on the right. He's also got a little upgrade to a 94. Looks incredibly good. 96 dribbling, of course. 91 shooting. Uh, just going to be a complete monster in game. You absolutely know it. Now, this next pack is going to be another icon. This was the second icon I packed at the event out of the three that I packed overall. Uh, and we get ourselves 91 rated Prime Loudrop. Now, he comes out, runs behind his item, and then, of course, gives you the ear and sort of like tries to G you up a little bit. I think that one was on FIFA 18 but it's not one that I necessarily saw very often um, so there's not specific ones for specific players apart from like the dab for Pogba and uh, like I said earlier I wonder if there's anything for for high rated players oh yeah Pat Messi again uh, what does he do this time I'm pretty sure it's just the yeah the running around of the the, the boards right there. That's definitely one that we've seen in a previous FIFA. But I did. I was actually able to pack Messi twice at the event. I did like a million FIFA points. It was obviously going to happen. Um, and then we get Cavani. I know this is Cavani because I think uh, Suarez was actually an inform when we were at the event. Oh no, he's got the old man bad back syndrome. So he's going to walk out hobbling a little bit like an old gentleman. But is he going to... No, it seems like his back's all better. Can he? Oh, he's fallen over, but hits you with the forward roll as he comes out of it. He was obviously trolling about his bad back, guys. I like that animation quite a lot. Now, this one right here might be up there as my favourite. Not going to lie. We pack Alexis Sanchez, and he's walking out, strutting his stuff, bodybuilder style. Now, uh, I don't know who exactly this is. Is this like a Schwarzenegger kind of thing? Is this like a Hulk Hogan? I don't quite know. Um... But he does, he does the like bodybuilder type thing. It looks so good. Uh, this is a really long pack animation as well, this particular one. Uh, and what else have we got coming up? I feel, I feel like there's a couple more brand new ones. Uh, who are we getting here? Is this uh, Ob Black? I think it's Ob Black. Yeah, it is. Who is 90 rated this year. This looks like it could just be a generic one that we've seen before. Walking out and doing that little shuffle dance. Yeah, is it like the Samba or something? Uh, Ob Black obviously going to be a pretty solid keeper on FUP19 as he always is nice and high rated of course and will make you some bank whether or not he'll just be SBC fodder I don't know uh, but I didn't get trolled by uh, Neymar again I actually was able to pack him he just comes out waving though this time I wish he did do a new animation uh, but I think that one once again we have seen before but let's face it when the real game comes out you're packing a 92 rated Neymar you're going to be over the moon about that uh, this next animation is going to be a well we're getting a cam from Bayern that's 
is going to be James Rodriguez. What's he going to do? He runs out. Oh, I think, did we already show this one where he comes out and does like the ears and stuff? Yeah. Uh, we've seen this one already. Just another, another nice pull, James Rodriguez. Not got a huge amount of pace this year, but central, cam, you know, 86 rated, 80, uh, 86 dribbling, 86 shooting, 86 passing, something like that anyway. Very, very solid. Now we get the Egyptian king right now, Mo Salah, and take a look at this animation. I love this one. He runs out and does like an Avengers. Oh, that's so sick. Uh, and I've seen a few different players do this. I think I had like a Testagan do it randomly. Also a Sergio Ramos. But then we're up to our final pack right now. And I don't think it's a brand new animation, but it was my third and final icon uh, who I actually was able to pack the 91 rated Prime Miroslav closer so that's a new icon on FIFA 19 and I was able to pack him in his prime which is pretty cool comes out knee sliding if you guys uh, want to see a video of me telling you the different tells between the pack openings like how to tell whether or not you're getting a good pack uh, or just a pack that you can skip if you're planning on opening a lot of packs or whether or not you're getting an icon and stuff I can make a, a quick little video about that for you guys later on uh, let me know if you want to see that by leaving a comment down below smash a thumbs up on the video don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here, have a great day, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.